former president Jair Bolsonaro is getting ready to concede defeat. Now, this is following the very close and closely watched election in Brazil. So now on Sunday, leftist former uh, President Lula da Silva won the election by about 1.8%. So that's a close election. Uh, and as a result, unfortunately, Bolsonaro supporters, uh, they're doing the, the Trump thing, right? Uh, rigged election, uh, it's not fair, uh, the, the stolen voter fraud, etc. And up until recently, Bolsonaro had been hiding out, not conceding, not saying anything uh, about the election or about conceding. But according to Reuters, that might be changing, but we'll get to that. <clears throat> that said, there is a reason uh, that uh, Bolsonaro has been pressured to come out and concede publicly and may do so today. Um, <clears throat> in fact, it's because Bolsonaro supporters have begun blocking roads to protest the results. On Sunday, they blocked the highway to the main airport in Sao Paulo, setting up barricades and chanting phrases like Lula the robber and starting fires in the middle of the road. Roadblocks and protests demanding a military coup had popped up as well to stop Lula from being certified have erupted in all but two of Brazilian states, according to reports. Brazil's Federal Highway Police also said that through over 300 protests had partially or completely shut down roads around the country, while authorities in the capital of Brasilia closed traffic access to the central government, Esplanade, amid fears that the Bolsonaro supporters were planning to stage a demonstration in front of the Supreme Court. And there's a reason, of course, they believe that the uh, Supreme Court gave Lula favorable treatment. Well, this is somebody who was put in prison. <laughs> Oh, who was a political prisoner. Oh, no, Supreme Court favors this guy who was a political prisoner. Sure, right. Uh, now, effects of this, by the way, uh, of these uh, shutdowns include widespread flight delays at Sao Paulo Airport after crew members and support staff were unable to get through the blockades. One mother who said she had voted for Bolsonaro uh, was on the verge of tears after being stranded in the airport for 10 hours for three young kids and her in-laws she said, quote, only in Brazil. I don't know about that. <laughs> Again, they tried to do the same thing in uh, the United States. Although not quite as widespread. Still, one Brazilian man, a cab driver who had been involved uh, in, in the pro-Bolsonaro demonstrations, went straight from the protest to the airport to pick up passengers, backed by the airport mayhem that he had helped cause. Quote, I ditched my motorcycle near the protest and went right to work. He emphasized the protests were peaceful, but admitted that he was hoping for a military coup. Great. That's wonderful. So uh, what happens uh, with the right wing is a leftist wins the election. And suddenly, oh, immediately. His fans, they're, you know, the right wing fans are like, no, we got to We got to overthrow. Him. We got to overthrow. Him. Amazing, amazing how this works. Uh, but here's the issue, right? Again, the right wing is doing in Brazil what they do everywhere. They cry. They cry about the elections. They're not accepting the outcomes of these elections. Oh, it's a stolen election. It's rigged. It's rigged. It's rigged. Okay, where's your evidence? Uh, the election was really, really close. Oh, oh, is that oh, is that your evidence? Oh, really? Uh, close elections happen all the time. Sometimes you just lose, and that sucks. Now, you can get mad about it all you want. That's fine. You can chant, not my president. That's totally fine. Whatever. But when you start talking about military coups, when you start talking about overthrowing the government and reinstalling the person who lost, you know, what we also call a loser, well, that's a problem. That's when you should worry about this. Now, the article also, uh, this is from uh, Daily Beast, they go into how the truckers had made up one of Bolsonaro's key constituencies because they had benefited from some of his policies, including lowering the price of fuel. Now, look, I get it. I, I get it. Sure, you have an, uh, an issue that impacts you, that impacts your, your career, your job. Okay, that makes sense. Sure. And I can understand why you're mad that you lost. But what they're doing is that they're trying to shut down the entire country as a result. To what end, though? 
again, this is a free and fair election. If your plan is to force Lula to give up an election that he had won fair and square, well, that's not going to work. Which makes me concerned that some of these people might turn to violence or be provoked into violence by police officers. Uh, in fact, on Monday, Supreme Court Judge Alexandre de Moraes, the top election official in Brazil, ordered highway police to take all necessary measures to clear the roadblocks. He also threatened to imprison highway police chief if he refused to comply with the directive, adding that truckers still blocking the roads would be fined around $19,300 an hour. So, look, I get it. Yes, you cannot uh, allow people to completely shut down all vital traffic. I get it. Uh, but I'm still concerned because then you get police and then you get insane right-wingers. Uh-oh. That could be an issue. Now, again, don't get me wrong. I despise Bolsonaro. I hate the guy. His policies are horrifying. Uh, you know, lots and lots of people got killed as a result of COVID, which... By the way, Bolsonaro's had like, what, 14 times already? But more importantly, uh, Bolsonaro's allowed for the mass deforestation in the Amazon to allow for, what, cattle grazing? Now, one of the promises that Lula ha had said he was going to do is to, to rein that in, is to stop, you know, deforesting the Amazon, which is important because if the Amazon is destroyed, well, bad things are going to happen. For one, so many rare plants and animals will disappear. Uh, including plants that could potentially yield cures to diseases that we haven't discovered yet. But also, the main thing is uh, the Amazon rainforest reduces the amount of carbon in the atmosphere through recycling it. So if you have this deforestation, when it comes to the lungs of the world, I mean, that's pretty bad. And if you're concerned about climate change, also... Very, very concerning. Now, aside from the rainforest, Lula's policies have also benefited the poor, have benefited indigenous people, lifted millions of people out of poverty. Um, and yet, under Bolsonaro, those, those groups had been crushed. So, that's it. Um, according to Reuters, Bolsonaro will not contest uh, his electoral defeat and plans to address the nation. Later on Tuesday, his communication minister, uh, Fablo, uh, I'm sorry, Fabio Faria, told Reuters, as a growing number of political allies have advised him to concede. Uh, now, I'm going to tell you what I think the reason is here. But, shoo, good. Most political allies, including the chief of staff, uh, Ciro uh, Nagera, and its vice president, Hamilton Moro, uh, have begun to make contact with the Lula camp to discuss transition. Uh, others, including the Speaker of the Lower House of Congress, called on Bolsonaro government to respect the election results. Already, they're ahead of the Republicans. Great. Good to see, actually. Um, and not so good if, you know, dealing with the Republicans, <laughs> who a lot of them voted against certification. Uh, that said, the powerful uh, agriculture lobby, CNA, representing farmers who were important campaign donors for Bolsonaro, said it was ready for conversations with the incoming government, which will take office on January 1st. So, look, money. Uh, I think that's an important thing. You have uh, money. You have transportation. You have supply uh, chains. You already have, like, inflation as a result of supply chain issues. These truckers shut the country down. That's going to hurt a lot of people. And so, yeah, you even have the Bolsonaro government that are like, oh, God, no, mm -mm, can't do that. We're shutting down important things. We can't have that. Like, yeah, you guys can have your temper tantrum, but we got to get back to business. So, again, if Bolsonaro concedes and, and calls for unity, great. He, that's what he's supposed to do. And again, would make him better than Donald Trump. Um, but ultimately, I think it's as a result, or, or I think it's going to be um, a result of the pressure from other politicians and business groups to try to end the blockades that are very, very vital. These are choking the country. Uh, in fact, look, 
a doctor in upstate Sao Paulo, for example, who voted for Bolsonaro, said, look, uh, we don't like these roadblocks. They have disrupted vital supplies to perform hemia, uh, hemodialysis on patients at a hospital in uh, Ribeiro Preto. I'm sorry, I can't see uh, pronunciations very well. But he told Reuters, quote, I am so angry that Bolsonaro is ending his term the totally reprehensible attitude that is putting the health of people at risk. So, look, that's actually a responsible answer. Great. Great. But again, we'll see what happens. But the hope is that Bolsonaro takes the advice, concedes the election, and we finally have a peaceful transfer of power. Like we should.